Hello and welcome to another brand new deck profile as it's been a month since I've actually last posted one and since I haven't really made any changes to Pendulum the next one off to bat is the second deck that I made coming back to Yu-Gi-Oh and that is Galaxy Eyes. Now if you've been around the channel for a while you know that at one point I did a series called trying to make this deck good and I tried two times to do a season two to that. And one of those decks that I played for Season 2 was Galaxy Eyes. Um, so I, it's a really fun deck. I really enjoy playing it. Especially this version now. I believe Galaxy Eyes with number C62 is a going second uh, deck in my opinion. You know, because going second you can go into C62 and OTK that way. So yeah... Originally, this was a Dark Arm Duelist list, um, the one that he posted back in uh, January. But I made some tweaks to it to make it my own because I just was bricking a lot with that uh, Dark Arm Duelist list. Um, so now uh, this is completely my own. So let's get started. So the one thing that I see most... Uh, Galaxy Eyes lists playing is two of Photon Dragon. I personally am now playing a play set of uh, Photon Dragon simply because I believe the third copy does come up. Whenever I'm play testing uh, against Pendulum and I've used my two copies, it that's when I feel like I really needed the third. And so since acquiring a third copy um i love it it definitely helps the deck uh that bit more having just an extra one to go to if i can't uh, revive one from uh the grave so but i am still playing with the one afterglow dragon um because you only i think you only really need the one because of how searchable it really is like you in this deck there are quite a few cards that can easily search it so it the, playing playing that at one is fine because all you really need to do is just use it as um a xe material for any of your plays detach it to bring out another copy of photon dragon and if you do that when you have c62 going in the battle phase that pumps c62 up to uh over 11,000 uh, in attack. So, yeah. Uh, next, I am, uh, of course, playing the Triple Searcher, being the Galaxy Eyes... Um, sorry, the Galaxy Soldier, not Galaxy Eye Soldier. But the Galaxy Soldier, you know, uh, grand to pitch anything that you might not need. And you don't need to always search out the another copy of Galaxy Soldier. Because you can search out any galaxy card, monster card, uh, from deck to hand. So usually it's, um, if I open, if I don't open Photon Dragon, I'll, you know, special summon this, search the Photon Dragon, or I'll search, um, you know, the Afterglow Dragon, uh, if I don't have a way to, and this is the only option for that. So, moving on to the one of Galaxy cards that I uh, play. So, I'm playing the one of Galaxy Cleric. Um, just because it it shuffles back into the deck. So, say if this, you're playing like a really grindy game and you're running out of resources. By normaling this, um, you can target, I believe it's up to five. Yeah. You can target five photon and or galaxy cards with different names uh, and shuffle them into your deck and then draw two. So, you know, that, that comes in handy. You know, like I said, if you're playing like a really, really grindy game, um, it can come up. Uh, I am also playing a galaxy wizard, which I'm still waiting to arrive in the post. Uh, it's literally the only one that I'm waiting on as of recording this video. So by the time this video goes up on Friday, uh, I will have it. Uh, so yeah, um, I also opted to put back in Galaxy Knight because I feel Galaxy Knight, again, 
is a good card um, that should be played, you know, because if you control a photon or a galaxy monster, I can you can normal summon it without tributing. Yes, its attack will go down to uh, 1800, but if you have a galaxy as photon dragon in your graveyard, you can revive it. And then since galaxy knight here is uh, level eight, that's another uh, XE play that you can do. You know, say if you have this in your hand and you normal summon Galaxy Cleric or the next card, uh, Galaxy Summoner. Um, you can then normal summon that without tributing or if you can special summon something on the field, normal summon it without tributing. Uh, say you dumped uh, the Photon Dragon to Grave, you bring it back and that's an XE play right there. And then the last of the Galaxy Monsters that I'm playing is of course the one Galaxy Brave. Um, yeah, so moving on to the galaxy spells, uh, so there's a few. Now, originally I was playing this spell at three, but it bricked at three, in my opinion. Yes, it is a powerful spell. Yes, it, you can do some things with this and Photon Jumper, but I play both at two, and that is Galaxy 100. The amount of times when I was playing this at three that I bricked, is an understatement where I would open two copies in my opening hand and then my draw for turn going second would be the third copy of Galaxy 100 and it was just it was it was it's an instant lose then because like since you can only activate one yes you can dump it and do some plays but if you open up a brick of a hand that whatever you send usually would be the photon jumper isn't going to be enough to save you in that situation whereas playing at a two i'm not seeing it as often but it's still there as an option to do so in my personal opinion i definitely think playing galaxy 100 at two is the correct ratio if you do not want to brick uh so the last of the galaxy cards is of course the galaxy expedition the number's last hope as it is counted as a galaxy card. And then lastly is the galaxy trace. So that's the galaxy portion of the deck. Um, so let's move on to the uh, photon ver uh, side of the deck. So obviously uh, you're, you wanna play the triple photon delta wing. It's a fantastic card. It's a one card rank four which you would usually, or at least I usually go for the Photon, uh, Galaxy Photon Dragon for its effect um, to detach and add a Galaxy or Photon card from deck to hand, you know, search it, or you can send it to the graveyard. Um, and then of course it uh, increases the attack of other ga uh, light monsters by 500. Uh, but even if you just normal summon it and special the second copy out of the deck, um your opponent cannot t declare an attack whilst you control another photon delta wing and the fact that its effect is not a hard once per turn as well is makes it a really really good card um so next is another card that i'm playing just at two copies and that is the photon orbital um because i would always usually side out uh the third or even second copy of photon orbital uh it's a great card don't get me wrong um you know being able to uh, attach to any of your galaxy or photons and then blow itself up to be the search to help you continue on with your plays but um for me personally i think two copies is fine the same with this next card being the photon jumper so as i said i play two galaxy hundred and two galaxy Sorry, two Photon Jumpers. So why don't I play the third copy? Um, it's the same reason why I don't play the third copy of Photon or, or Galaxy 100, because Photon Jumper is always glued to my hand, uh, no matter what. Usually whenever I do uh, test uh, duels against Pendulum, nine, about 80, yeah, no, I'd say 70% of the, of the hands has opened up either just the one jumper, which is fine, um or two jumpers um which isn't ideally or what has happened 
a good few times is I either open up the two jumpers or if I, when I was playing the third copy, I would open up the playset, which then means it's a dead card in my hand um, if I don't have a way to get it out of my hand. Uh, so usually what you want is to have this is still in the deck and then um, Galaxy hun uh, 100 in your hand. You activate the 100, you dump this, then you add any of the Galaxy or uh, Photon spells into your hand. Um, which you only really play the one photon spell, which is Sanctuary, and then, you know, go from there. Um, and, you know, even if it is in your hand, it's a battle fader, but again, opening up multiple copies uh, in your hand uh, with no way of getting them out of your hand. Yeah, I mean, like, I know I could easily set it, but I, there's no value in that, you know. Uh, so, yeah. That's why I play it at two. Moving on, I also play the two Photon Vanishers because I would always side this card out. At least one, uh, the third copy, I'd always side out. Um, and I think just, again, having two is fine. Uh, the one ofs now is just the one Photon Trasher, which uh, only recently got shipped as of recording this video. So it's going to... Uh, from Germany, so it will be the next week that I get it, uh, but I have ordered it. Uh, I have caught Photon Emperor down to one, um, just because you only really need the one, because all it's really good for is sending to, sending from deck to grave for it to then special summon itself as long as you have a Galaxy or, or a Photon Monster on board, and that's, that's really it. And then, as I said, the one spell that I play is the Photon Sanctuary. Uh, so I do play non-engine cards, two non-engine monster cards that I think definitely would help the deck um, and it has helped me uh, and that is uh, two copies of Nebula Dragon. So why, why two copies of Nebula Dragon? Well, because of, of its effect. I can reveal this card and one other level 8 monster in my hand, special summon both in defense but negate uh, their effects. Also, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except light or dark monsters. Which, in case you haven't been paying attention, the entire galaxy photon list is light, including the extra deck. Um, so that doesn't really make a difference. And then, of course, its other effect is you, if this is in your graveyard, you can banish this card. Then target one uh, level four light or dark monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it's good if you open up um, Photon Dragon or Afterglow Dragon or even Galaxy Brave without um, any proper means to get them out of your hand. You can then reveal it with uh, Nebula Dragon and since it's a level eight, it helps facilitate your rank eight plays. So wrapping up with the deck here, uh, we just have some one-off spells and that is uh, Foolish Burial, Rhoda and Call by the Grave. I really wish Konami would put Call by back at three, um, in my personal opinion, uh, since this is a very hand trap heavy format with Snake Eyes, uh, having three copies of Call by the Grave wouldn't be too bad. Speaking of hand traps, uh, I'm only playing six in the main deck, and that is Triple Ash, yes, one is a super, and Triple Imperm, and that rounds out the 40 card deck. So let me know what you thought of the uh, of that in the comments whilst we move on to the uh, extra deck. So again, I don't have most of the extra deck cards here. I'm still slowly acquiring them. So uh, I'll bring that up as we go. So as you've seen, I play two copies of the Photon Dragon. This is the rank four that I will always go into the most rather than Star Leash Photon Blast Dragon. Just because I think you know, the other cert, the uh, special summon, or sorry, yeah, the search or the dump to grave is far better than uh, than the uh, the Starleash Photon Blast Dragon, um, which I know you can special summon one photon uh, monster from your hand um, with this, and it, and there are other pluses to it. I just think the uh, the either to the search for something that you need or the dump you're you're either going to want to search or you want to dump 
Um, so of course, uh, then of course we have um, Cyber Dragon Nova and Infinity. I only have a Korean copy of Infinity at the moment. I still need to acquire those. Then we get on to the numbers. So those being number 38, Hope Harbinger, and number 62, and then number C62, like I said, the OTK route. Uh, number 90, a friend pulled that, and I am buying that off of him, so I will get that shortly. And then for the non-numbers, uh, we have Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon uh, Dragon. We then have the Galaxy Cypher, and then the Cypher X. And then to round out the XCs, we have, of course, Divine Arsenal, Double A Zeus, Sky Thunder. And then the only links that you play in the deck is, of course, the two Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. And that rounds out the extra deck. Um, so let me just put one of these on top. Uh, there you are. That's the one I want on top for when I go to take a photo for the thumbnail. So, side deck. This I mainly just built for my for going up against like Pendulum or my friend Cyber Dragon List, as he still hasn't come up with a second deck. Uh, so that being um, Triple D Shifter. Let me just zoom in once I do this. Um, triple Nibiru, which I only have the one copy of. Uh, triple Droll and Lockbird, which I don't have. Uh, triple Tactics Talent, which I, I borrowed that from the side deck of Pendulum, and then Triple Crossout Designator. And that is that. That is the side deck, main and extra deck for Galaxy Eyes. Let me know what you thought of the deck in the comments down below, and if you'd like to see maybe some test hands, uh, I might do that because, it de well, it, it depends on what I open of what I can do um, so yeah thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, hopefully on Monday there will be the uh, March's mail day uh, which is a big one uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you all for that one